Okay, so today we have tutorial number three of our tutorial series. And today we are going to be covering macros. So let me just give you a definition for a macro first. Basically, a macro is a single instruction that can expand automatically into a set of instructions to perform a particular task. That's the official definition from the internet. And if you're a gamer, you'll know a lot of gaming keyboards have macro buttons so that you can program them to do something such as typing or um, clicking on stuff even. So I think beyond that, let me just actually, a macro, I use macros a lot, and if you can understand, it's hard to understand it at first, but if you, if you you once you get a grasp of they make they can improve your show file and how you run your shows and your laugh by like a crazy amount, they make working on it way easier. So I think let's just jump right in. And the first thing we need to cover is MA syntax. MA uses a syntax that is not, uh, like, there's no books you can read to just learn it. You can't, there's no book you can go buy from a store that says grand MA2 syntax. syntax. Well, there's only one way to learn it. On an empty screen, if you um, try and have one of these open all the time, a command line feedback. So it's under system, command line, one of these. You can see uh, this is like my third attempt at doing this tutorial today. Um, but basically what this is, is it, it is just a readback of everything you do. So it is what the, because you see it says executing, and then it is telling you what it's executing. So it's saying delete, I have to delete a whole macro, it's storing everything. So th that's the only way to do it. Have one of these open as often as possible. If you can have it at the bottom of, of like screen two, that's where I have a command line. You know, learn, oh, not, not in this one, but on my actual show file. And that is just how you learn learn the syntax is literally I can't like you can't there's no one that can sit and teach it to you for you to learn you've, you've got to just put in the time to read the command on and that's how you'll learn it so let's open up my macro pool under pools macro <coughs> <coughs> sorry I'm rather sick today um so yeah we've now opened up the macros pool there are a whole lot of predefined macros if you're going to set up Imp uh, not auto create import export import you can import macros but I'm gonna talk I'm gonna talk about creating macros rather and then because I mean like you might want to just go and import the couple that they've got go have a look at them some of them are pretty good but I've I generally create my own Mac all my own macros okay so I think let's let's talk about how to create a macro first the way the way you create a macro is you tap edit tap on the the, the thing and hit add so let's say let's give the most let, just before i jump into explaining how you can learn the syntax let's just say we want a macro that s allows me to load a queue because loading a queue will mean so let's say load at because all it's saying is load at so what that allows me to do is i can tap on this macro then go to an executor and select q6 now you can see it's blinking red there when i tap go instead of going to the next queue it'll go to the queue i loaded that's a that's a load um, macro. So that's, as I said, that's the way you can learn. That's what a macro can do. Macros can do so much that, because I would otherwise type in to the command line, load, tap there, load it, go. Macro is doing it for me. Now, if I come into the command line after doing that, you can see it's actually saying load executor 1.3. Now, if I write a macro that just says load executor 1.3, load executor 1.3 or 1.2 no because 1.2 I don't think it exists 1.3 then I'm going to tap it and it's going to bring me up everything for executor 1.3 and I can then do that but that obviously isn't useful so the way MA works with a lot of these so you can do go at go to Q at off at what else there's, there's a whole lot of them putting that at means it is waiting for you to tell it what executor to reference so a couple more use cases for this could be go to at then what that is going to do is if i click on that i can then tap here and i can say go to q1 and go straight there so that's that's what macros can do so that's what the at is the at allows it to reference to what the at tells it to wait for you to reference it to, to wait for you to um to wait to sorry i'm trying to find the words here um what the ad does is it says to it okay hold on we don't know what executor he, he wants so let's wait for him to tell us which one so 
And that's how you create a macro and that's what the at is. Now as I said at the beginning, the only real way to learn the syntax, and I can't drill this in enough, is to read the command line. So say, this is how you, I, I learn to write macros. Is say I want a macro to store another macro. Let's just say that. So I want it to store macro 36 and I want it to label it hey. That's what I wanted to do, okay? So I will, I, I did that. And now what I can do is I can go to command and see exactly what I did. So I stored macro 36 and then I label macro 36. Now I could write a macro to do that, just off of reading that. So let's go to macro 40 and write the macro. So it would be store macro 36 and then I tap on new to create a new line and I want it to label macro 36 please. Now if I run that, it's going to do it and it's going to ask me to put in the data. But if I wanted to automatically label it, I can then say I can then go label macro 36 little thingies quotation marks, hey, single quotation marks. And look at that, it does it for me. Interesting. So that's that's what you can do. You can do anything with macro really. As long as you can do it on the console, you, you can do it with the macro. And that's really the only way to the only way to be able to get good at writing macros is to and even come up with CMDs within queues. Because within all the queues, there are little things called CMD where you could also put these in. Where you could put commands in. Macro, basically. Those are basically macros. So, the only way you're going to be able to do it is to sit and, like, once you've done it, go to the command line and say, alright, what did I do? I did delete macros 36 and I did go macro 2. And then the go can, can apply. And then, if you just get it once or twice, you, you'll be able to manipulate it a bit more. So here I've said label macro 36, but I can figure out that I can, instead of saying macro, I can say label executor 1.7 or um, store executor 1.9. You just need to figure out how to manipulate, to manipulate. So the, the, real, the best way, to, the, other, the other thing after reading the command line is go and just have a look at this and familiarize yourself with this section especially and all these commands. View effect, go to page, macro, preset, exec, group, fixture, queue, sequence, channel. Because you can create macros that say channel one at 100, and that's gonna select channel one and bring the demo to 100%, if that makes sense. So I know today's tutorial has been a bit all over the show in terms of macros, because macros are, ex I find them very hard to teach if somebody asked me to teach them how to do macros, I, I, I struggle to say to them, this is just how you write a macro. It's not, it's not simple. It's like, you can't just say, there's no way to really teach somebody how to write a macro. You need to sit and learn it yourself. It's like coding. I can't say, I can't sit you down and like just teach you how to code all of a sudden. It's about, you've got to then take the initiative to learn the language and to learn what to do and to learn the commands and to learn everything and then you you can do it i mean three months ago i had no macros not three months ago because that was december six months ago i would not have had macros anywhere in my show file because i had no clue what they did but i sat and i learned about them and then i figured out how useful and how powerful they are and honestly, they are one of the most powerful things with MA, within MA because they allow you to do so much. And that's what I find amazing about them is how much they allow you to do. So I think just before I end off, let me cover a few, a few ways to execute macros. So there's a couple of things you can do if you want to execute macros. You can say, you can store them in a queue. So you can actually say store there, tap on it, macro, select your macro, and then the macro is there. Or you can say assign macro to and then tap there and it'll assign it there. And you can assign macros pretty much anywhere. I just want to delete these because these aren't actually going to be used. You can assign them to view buttons because instead of actually having views saved, you can have macros. So I can say assign macro one and then it's there and then it's there. Just then it's there. Um, and that can that can actually be pretty helpful. Like if you aren't using the view buttons, you can actually you can actually 
you can actually sorry about that uh one of my uh, my little brother has decided to come in and uh, join us for the, for the end of the tutorial but you can actually put the macro there and then tap on it and if you haven't gone anywhere else but you've got empty view tiles so that's what you can do with, that's that's basically everything you can do with macros as i said i can't teach you the whole with a lot of the things we'll be covering i can't actually teach you every i can't teach you the whole i can teach you the basics of it but I can't explain in-depth things. You have to go and you have to sit and you have to figure it out yourself. That's the only, like, I know it sounds harsh. And I try to answer as many questions as possible. Especially on my other channel, you can see if you go, there's, like, one guy that I've answered, like, ten, five or six of his questions that are, like, lower level stuff. And that's when I figured it out is I can't answer all of your questions. I can't answer all of the basic questions. The basic questions, as harsh as it sounds, you have to sit and you have to learn. I mean, when I was learning MA, I had, there were very few tutorials out there, and that's what encouraged me to do this. There were very few tutorials that focused on beginners. And what I found is a lot of the times, people wouldn't reply to my comments when I had a question, and I asked. And that's why I, and that's, and when I, and then I had to figure it out for myself. And that's why I say ask, but, like, it could take me a week to reply to your, your message. So instead of sitting around doing nothing for that week, sit and try and figure it out yourself because sooner or later i'm not going to be able to reply to everyone's messages and i mean i will always try but i'm not always going to be able to so that is ma in general you have to sit and you have to devote yourself to learning so that went off topic from macros like so far <laughs> but um <coughs> <coughs> again i apologize for my coughing i went to quite a bit of topic there but that's the essence. You have to just sit and learn, really. There's not much I can do to to teach you about, to teach you about it. I mean, there's really not much I can do. So yeah, so I've taught you how to create a macro. You say edit add da 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 add da 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 da. I'm just typing random shit here. That's what. That's how you create a macro. That's how you create a macro. And yeah, I guess that's it for this this episode. And as I said, always have command line open, you'll learn it. With the command line, the green stuff is the actual syntax, and then obviously the numbers. So sign macro two executed two oh seven. This is this is this is golden. Command line is honestly golden for everything you will do with MA. So yeah. As always, um leave your questions down in the comments and as I said I will try to answer them, but w until I do answer them, try and figure it out yourself. Um, I'll make sure to put the show file in the description as always. And yeah, leave, leave questions and subscribe. Please subscribe if you want the rest of the tutorial. And yeah, thanks for watching and subscribe, subscribe, subscribe some more, get your friends to subscribe. And I just, before, I, I need to drill this into everyone that's watching this. I c nobody can teach you everything and the best way to do MA is just sit on a Saturday afternoon when you've got nothing open up MA open up 3d and fuck around and make mistakes and mess up and panic and figure out what you did and then you're good that's what I did that's how I learned MA I sat on a Saturday afternoon and I try to figure it out and then I'm like fuck what did I do and then I fixed it, and then I didn't know what to do, and then I tried to ask someone a question, and they never responded, so I figured it out myself. And yeah, you can see, I mean, one day I'll do a full show file walkthrough, where I'll show you where, what, what, how my show file is run. But in terms of, to give you an idea, I, le I started learning MA in May, no, not May, May or June, June last year. So I've been learning MA and doing it for just under a year now. And I mean, you can if you, if I were to, if I were to do the walkthrough of my show file, which maybe I'll do in a week or two, the, tell me in the comments if you want that. Um, you'll see how advanced my like it isn't as advanced as some other people's show files, but it's pretty advanced, and it's taken me less than a year of no professional training, no person I could just phone and say, hey, how do you do this? None of these tutorials, very basic, very like quick tutorials. And yeah, and I figured it out, and I just made myself know it, and I forced myself to sit and learn it. So that's really all I can say. So as I said, thanks for watching. Subscribe. Questions in the comments. Show file in the description. All of that lovely stuff. Have a good day, and 
be awesome, I guess. I don't know. Should I start saying that? <laughs> well, have a, have, a, have a good one, everybody. Cheers.